I play a guy who's a truck driver. Uh, loved his job. A little down on his luck right now. She is recently separated from uh, from Eddie, and their lives have gotten super complicated in recent times. Well, my character uh, in Cost of Living is John. John is a brilliant, charming, charismatic doctoral student uh, who also happens to have uh, cerebral palsy. Jess is a girl who lives her life based on needs, and um, and those needs are very, um, very, very practical. They're of a very pragmatic nature. I happen to be dashing, charismatic, and uh, I'm not a doctoral student. Uh, I do have cerebral palsy. I think John is looking for, like anyone, human connection. I mean, I am myself an amputee specifically, so, um, and Ani originally was written as just having a spinal cord injury. The thing that's been really interesting to explore as an actor is stillness. It all comes down to how effectively am I communicating with this other person. The play is so much about the theme of isolation and the theme of community and how, how those two things meet and how we're always trying to, trying to find each other. As a member of the disabled community, I'm always sort of questioning what that actually is, what my place in it is, and how I can accurately uh, represent that community. Isolation is not only inherent to uh, disabled people, but everyone, all humans, sort of, sort of a universal theme. And we're all connected, whether we want to be or not. Where do I fit in? Where do I belong? Um, in what community do I belong to? And I think everyone is, is searching for, for their community and for their home, wherever that may be. I also hope that it opens your people's minds to um, to the beauty between um, characters and sort of that uh, the the love that people share for each other and and regardless of what happens and the to your physical body that love sort of remains there. Oh, I hope they come out and say, uh, "Baby, I love you." If you had a dog, I'd love the dog.